Welcome back everybody to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones and today we have an exciting video. Um, really stepping out of the comfort zone today. Um, I'm gonna try something that I've never tried. We're gonna try to make an open pore silicone mold from scratch using modeling clay. And uh, well, I don't, I guess my silicone's inside. And silicone, so the goal is to get a flexible silicone open pour mold. And uh, we're gonna start with, I think, um, I would say maybe uh, the most common way that people start, we're gonna make a swim bait. Um, and then I'm gonna start making some worms, just having some fun. And um, if you've never tried it, hopefully this will kind of be a beginner's guide also maybe a what not to do video um like i said i've never tried this um i'm not gonna pretend like i'm gonna do all the steps correctly and and teach you how to do it the right way but it's gonna be a fun video it may turn out awful or it may not so um without further ado we're gonna start shaping some clay okay voila so i uh did a little bit of work already off camera and basically I just took a big brick of that modeling clay and uh, you know you just take a simple little tool and you know you just cut you off a piece and you start uh, shaping it with your hands so what we have here is just a, a basic swim bait shape okay it's about six inches long and um, yeah so let me we raise the camera up a little bit here and make sure that we're still in frame angle it down so what we've been doing is just kind of shaping it with our hands and uh, you know basically you know once the clay gets a little warm it becomes soft and you basically just kind of pet it and that's what I've been doing just kind of petting it with my fingers to try to get you know some straight edges and, and some smooth edges and um, you know the tail portion is is where it's more difficult because you know you have to worry about breaking it for one and uh, you know there's just more bends and curves here but you know that's what it'll kind of look like head on and uh, I, I used I used this blade to cut a little slot out okay so it's gonna be a slotted bait I just kind of put this piece of cardboard in there just so that I can kind of put some pressure on the sides and it won't cave in that slot. Um, so it's actually looking pretty decent. And this type of modeling clay, you'll see it's oven baked. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the oven, <coughs> excuse me, and that will harden the clay. And then we'll technically have a master that we can then use to uh, pour the mold. So, um, I'm thinking that I'll probably, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks now. There's like a little tail fin there. And um, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks now. And uh, I, I know I skipped a lot of steps on film, but this took about 25, 30 minutes on its own. And uh, I just didn't wanna make the video too long because there's still a ton left to do. But um, you know, it's, it's just as simple as just shaping it with your hands trimming it to size um, you know just with a little blade here and uh, this little tool was was pretty cool I was able to cut the eye holes just kind of doing this right here you know just kind of making a little circle and boom you know now we have uh, you know the slot the slot for our eyes there so that looks like it's gonna take about a 10 or 12 millimeter eye um, I have I have some pretty big eyes but uh, I didn't want to make it, you know, look too, too large. Um, but yeah, you know, that's kind of what we're, 
working with and you'll see that the edges are still really rough um, that's what sandpaper is for so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake we're gonna bake this um, this bait right here and uh, this will kind of be our master so to speak and once it's hardened then we can take some really fine sandpaper and really fine-tune the edges smooth things out and just try to make it look as professional as possible okay so my baking instructions are <clears throat> Bake on oven-proof glass or metal surface at 275 degrees, which we have, uh, for 15 minutes per quarter inch of thickness. So this bait's about a half inch thick, and a little more actually. So we'll probably do it for like 35 minutes or so, because uh, if it was exactly half an inch, then that's saying that I need uh, 15 minutes per quarter inch. Um, so we're gonna do a little over 30 minutes. So, we're gonna go ahead here. Sorry if my kitchen looks like it's a mess. I don't usually film videos in here. All right. So now we're gonna... You're okay, Landon. We'll just, we'll do like 35 minutes. And uh, that should do it. Okay. We are done, supposedly. So, we will take our blank out here for our master. Okay. All right. Now I'm just gonna let that, I guess, cool down for a little bit before trying to touch it. And, uh, and then we'll see if it worked. Okay, so we have our hardened master here. And this is just some really fine grit sandpaper. And we're just going to, uh, Try to smooth things over, literally. Just like you do with your lady after a big fight, huh? Try to try to smooth things over. So, you know, and, and like I said, this is very fine, fine stuff. And, uh, you know, there'll be quite a bit, quite a bit of this that I'm going to do. It's, you know, I'm not going to film a whole lot of this because, you know, once you kind of see it, you've seen it and, uh, you know, this is going to take a while. <laughs> yeah, but we're just going to try to try to get things even as as we can here. Trying to be real careful here not to break this bad boy. It actually stands up on its own. So I guess it's a well-balanced bait. <laughs> Well, we are still at it with the uh, sandpaper. I built a little box that we're actually gonna pour the mold in. Um, so that's how it will sit and then you pour the silicone over it. Um, I've got to seal up that box a little bit. Not sure what I'm gonna use for that. Like I said, I'm a little ill-prepared having never done this, but uh, we'll figure out something because you don't want the silicone to just leak out your box because um, then you don't have a mold, so. But um, yeah, we're slowly but surely kind of smoothing things over here. Okay, so we have our box sealed up. And um, so now we need to lubricate our master here. So we're just gonna use some Vaseline lip gloss here. Cause I don't have regular Vaseline. And uh, I don't really have any other type of oil lubricant like this to use um, yeah the only other thing I would have is preparation H <laughs> but uh, we don't need to use that here so it's one of those things people don't like to talk about but uh, yeah I'm sure you could use the prep H in your mold making I mean dr. evil used preparation H during one of his plans to take over the world. So, just remember, it has more uses than just as directed. Okay. And uh, so this is just so that the silicone won't stick to our uh, master too much here. And uh, hopefully, 
oops, hopefully, um, oh yeah, I'm getting the stuff in there real thick. And hopefully we don't destroy the master when we demold tomorrow, but you know, we may. Like I said, this is my first time and I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Yeehaw, we are stirring up, mixing in our stuff here. Is it, just, is it me or does the uh, hardener stuff look just like June bug color? Look at that. That ain't, nothing, that ain't nothing but Little Works June Bug. Anyway, we're gonna keep stirring this and then we're going to uh, pop it into the uh, vac chamber and uh, try to get some air out of it. Because I'm sure I'm putting a bunch of air in it, mixing it up, but I have to mix this stuff in. You can see it's kind of like a nice light shade of purple. Okay, here we go. I was told to just kind of start, or the you know, just kind of start pouring on one side and just let it kind of fill itself in. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, I'm just going to break my little rule here and just start to maybe pour it in a few different areas. Uh, but you want to pour it slowly, I'm sure, so that it doesn't trap air anywhere. At least I would kind of think that that's the that's the idea hopefully it'll get down into that hook slot there okay we hope also hope that I have enough <laughs> that's the thing you know you measure out the right amount of volume but then half of it still st stays in the cup, so I'm really hoping that we can get enough here. I'm, I may have to mix up some more real fast. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're uh, going to take the heat gun here and just get that top layer uh, a little, little heated up. And this helps get any air bubbles out. This way we can finish this off with the rest of the silicone that we mixed up a minute ago. So, <clears throat> and uh, my little box here is not doing too bad leaking silicone. Only a smidge just right there and uh, that will harden up um, to where it really won't let much, much else uh, out. So, um, I think that's actually going to work. Okay, everybody, we have a success. Um, so, here is the master. I unfortunately broke the tail, but I think that's kind of to be expected. Um, the silicone kind of flowed over a lot. Um, what I mean by that is you can see the width of the master you can see that the silicone kind of flowed over the back and the, you know, the portions a little bit. You know, that big tail somehow fits down in there. Um, so I want to try to like trim around the edges just a smidge to maybe widen up the top and, you know, loosen it up a little bit. These aren't very good scissors, unfortunately. Um, so I don't want to, don't want to make it really more sloppy than it is. Um, and you can see that it's kind of an uneven edge and that kind of, to me that just kind of looks poor. I don't think it necessarily has much bearing on how the bait turns out, but um, yeah, you know, we might try that for now and just kind of uh, see, yeah, I, I cut it a little close on the edges, the mold, you know, the actual inside of the mold goes dang near to the edges so uh, you know a little little scary there I don't I don't want to tear that but uh, I'm actually really happy with this um, the hook slot filled in it's not pretty but it's there and uh, yeah I kinda I'm very 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 pleased I mean this is um, a, a completely new thing for me so Let's, uh, let's see what it looks like, y'all. 
Hey, our first mold. Gotta crack a beer for that. Booyah. Cheers. Prost. Let's do this. All right, now we're gonna pour the bottom. Okay. So. Here we go. Yeah. Just kind of let it fill it in. Beautiful. That's it. Okay, and now we're just going to pour a vein. We're not going to pour it all the way throughout the tip of the bait. It's just going to be like a little bloodline almost. So, it's got to be uh, real gentle with how you pour it. So I don't want it to go all the way through the nose. Okay? So we're going to let that sit just like that. Okay, and here is our top color the smoke black smoke charcoal as it were and this is super hot want to try to get a good bond to the bottom two colors okay not really sure how full I need to make this mold but that's pretty hot plastic so it's gonna draw in Alright, so that just kind of overflowed the top, so I guess we'll just stop there and hope for the best. Who knows how this is going to turn out. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Okay, let's see if our creation here looks worth the darn. Okay, let's work on getting this tail out. Okay, good, good so far. Not bad. Okay, let's get this whole thing. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. There still must be a lot of um, residue in there from the uh, Vaseline. Because that's not as shiny as I wanted it. But that's okay. Actual bait looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and pop that in the water and um, just kind of let it set up for just a minute. Okay, so here's our bait. And uh, guys, I gotta tell you, I'm thrilled with the shape of this thing. Just gotta find a way to, to make it shiny. Something about the, uh, the inside, I need to somehow get it to shine up real good. But we're gonna go ahead and pop some eyes in. That is perfect. That like perfectly fits like a 12 millimeter. Or no, these are these are probably tens actually. Yeah, I think these are tens. Yeah, these are tens because the twelves fit the big eight inch ribbed stank mold, and then the fifteens fit the uh the seven inch uh smooth bait. So these have got to be tens. Um so yep. I made something that actually fits an eyeball correctly, and that's completely by chance, because I don't know what I'm doing here. Alright, let's get this next eye on. Once it's shined up a little bit, that actually looks like a bait that has purpose. <laughs> and what a fun process, too. Very, very fun, fun process. Absolutely uh, magnificent here. All right, now let's do a little clear dipping. Let's get these babies dipped. And that should bring out some of the shine. You know, because they were, they were a little dull coming out of the mold, and I think that just has something to do with the, uh, with the silicone, or excuse me, with the uh, Vaseline, you know, the lubricant. You know, that's on the outside of your master. And so I think it probably leaves a little bit of residue on the inside of the mold. Okay. Where are my scissors? Put that one in the bath. That looks freaking sexy, guys. And I went ahead and did a second one uh, off camera just because. Why have one when you can have two? Okay. Perfect. 
And uh, you know, it's not the cleanest mold in the world. It's not the cleanest master. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a artist, so to speak, you know, but this is not bad. I mean, this is a workable bait. This is a presentable bait. I would actually sell this to somebody if somebody wants to buy my own bait here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not ashamed of this at all. This is great, actually. And, uh, yeah, let's bring this over here. Guys, what the heck is this? That's not a bait that I made. That can't be. That is like freaking dope, y'all. Check this out. I mean, even even the hook slots um, clear dipped correctly. Like WTF? Well, guys, I tell you, if I can do it, you can do it. That heh, turned into that. How freaking about it? Man, that's exciting. I mean, I, I really don't know what else to say. And look how good they look clear dipped. It kind of brought some of the dullness, uh, or, or it brought the colors out and got rid of some of the dullness. So, um, wow. Okay, now let's kind of take a quick peek what she might look like rigged up. This is an ADOT uh, swim bait hook here. This is still a little soft, so it'll be a little gummy, um, you know, rigging this bait. But hey, I don't care. This is exciting stuff, y'all. Okay. Yeah, this hook may not quite be big enough, but, uh, you know, the you could go to a 10 aught. You know, I, I don't think it needs a 12, but who knows? Let's see here. Let's bring it out the top. Oh yeah, yeah baby, skin hook it, ooh -hoo. Oh my gosh. Well, this isn't gonna work. Was gonna throw the new bait in the pond. Oh, there's a dog after me. But, the pond is empty, so, to the bathtub we go, I guess. Okay, so this, hey guys, this may be a little awkward, but let's let's see what she does here. Oh yeah. I just I don't have a whole lot of room to work with. Actually has a little bit of a wobble and a tail kick. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad, folks, and uh, sorry that I'm filming in my bathroom. Hey, Landon, did you like Daddy's bait? Did you like the swim bait? Oh, yes, you do. Yes, he does. He says, good job, Daddy. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please shoot me lots of comments down below. Let me know how you think I did. Uh, I'm sure my process was a little unrefined, but uh, hey, the end result was great. Um, so I highly recommend giving it a try if you uh, have a shape for a bait in mind that you really want to see You know, you can try it like this, you know get get some modeling clay get some silicone I paid like $36 for my silicone. It came with the uh, catalyst to harden it um, Yeah, get get creative, you know, you can You can really uh, make some cool stuff and, and see how it works and uh, and then if you want to bring it to production You know, you might can you know have a, a CNC mold made by a professional mold maker or you can just perfect this and have a bunch of hand pour molds I use a lot of silicone hand pour molds they produce top quality baits just like your uh, CNC molds um, so I think it's healthy to, to be good at both or to try to be good at both to try to be good at hand injection and you know really develop good colors and, and good colorways uh, and, and good habits using hand injection um, and and then obviously as well as the hand pour and uh you know doing it this way kind of allows you to make your own hand pour molds and uh i think that's really exciting this was my first one ever so cheers to that prost 
and we will see you next time.